Greetings and salutations. This is Tam O'Shanter, and today we're going to jump into a new game. I've played a lot, I just haven't posted any uh, videos to the YouTube. I really enjoy this game. It's called Dawn of Man. Uh, basically, you start out with a small little group of people, I believe it's six, in the. Uh, Paleolithic era, era, I think, uh, and then you work your way up until um, the Iron Age, um, building your encampment, um, hunting, moving from a hunter-gatherer type of colony to an agricultural type of uh, community and uh building 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 and all of that fun stuff so um i like to build um i'm i'm a builder by nature a lot of games that i play um have a building element to it um i like to play city skylines rebuild cities um which is a really nice game if you have a really uh, <laughs> if you have a fairly high-end computer it's a fun game to play frustrating it's more of a simulation than an actual game uh, honestly but um, check out City Skylines. Um, uh, I liked, you know, SimCity and all that stuff uh, when it was new. And uh, any kind of a game where I get to build something, either a town, a house, uh, civilization. Civilization is also a good game. Anything like that I tend to like quite a lot. Um, but this is um, Dawn of Man, and we're going to start a new game. Uh, we're going to start on the Continental Divide, as you can see. I haven't gone through uh, all of these yet, because I I like a challenge, but I also like to enjoy the game, so I I play a lot on this one, um, just because it's, it's a challenge, but it's not, like, horrible. So we're going to start in this one, and we are going to do free play. Why aren't you working? Okay, pick a starting area. Um, bum, 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 bum. I like to be by a lake. Um, lakes draw animals. Uh, so do rivers, but lakes draw more. It's been my experience. Um, I think I'm going to come up here to Mountain Lake. Well, I don't know if that's where I want to be or this is where I want to be. I think... Uh, decisions, decisions. Lake Valley. Mountain Lake. Okay. Well, let's start with uh, Mountain Lake. Oh my gosh, that's very loud in my ears. Uh, you'll start out with creatures like this. There are mountain lions, not mountain lions, um, saber tooth, kitty cats, no, cave lions, that's what they call them. And there's some freaking nasty hyenas. Uh, you got mammoths, uh, the woolly woolies here, and you got some woolly rhinos and all that kind of stuff. They die off as time goes on. But you get massive points and a massive amount of meat and hide and whatever for killing one of these things, but in the beginning it's a really dangerous endeavor because these things are huge. They've got big uh, tusks, big feet, big uh, trunks, big foreheads, and they will smash the bejesus out of you and kill off your people. And if all your people die, well, then your civilization or your little um, community doesn't do very well. So we're waiting for this to... I don't know why it's loading so slow. So I'm kind of loading slow. There it goes. Press any key to continue. So here we go. Okay. Well, this is not the one where I normally start. So just to get a little overview here. Game is paused with the space bar. Um, there's another little leg over here. Um, you can see we've got what a reindeer? Yeah, reindeer. 
Um, oh, there's a bear. A cave lion. Cave lions are not nice. Neither are bears. Uh, we got this little spot here. I wonder if there's anything over here. Are these warthogs? Oh, boars. Just boars. I don't know why I thought they were warthogs. There's no warthogs in the game, so... Yeah. Oh, there's a hawk. Do you know how many times one of these freaking birds has made me duck? Because they will fly right into the freaking camera. Okay, we got some buffaloes. Uh, ancient bison. Same difference. Cave bears. So, this is where we are. There's an aurochs, which is basically, it's a undomesticated cattle, an aurochs. I have no idea if I'm saying that, I'm just saying it by what it looks like it is. So here's our community of, uh, oh, we have seven people. We need to build another shelter. This here is telling us that we don't have enough shelters. also giving us our breakdown of people that we have. We have a male child, a female child, six houses, two males, two females, one elderly male. But we do need to put up another house. But before do we do that, I'm going to um, highlight all these people. And they've only got spears. And they're going to come over here and they're going to... And it's a right click. You highlight them normally, the way you normally highlight things. And then a right click on this animal, this Orox. And we're going to try to kill him. Uh, without see some of these people are going off because they're the elderly and the children uh, the elderly and the see now the dang thing is running away get it guys we need the mates see it's a battle there's a guy who just went pitched and but the animal's dead and did we lose anybody no I think we're good okay so um I'm probably going to tear these down and rebuild them in a different fashion. And yeah, that's not what I wanted. Here's the uh, house menu. Residence, storage, uh, production stuff, spiritual things. So we want to build a house. We, this is all we can build is a basic tent right now. So we're going to put the tent... I haven't played this in a while, so while I'm trying to figure out how to turn things. <sighs> there we go. I'm going to put the basic tent right here. So we'll make that a priority right now. We want to get all these sticks. We're going to need to pick up some sticks. So we're going to get this uh, under the flags here, place a work area. We're going to do pick up sticks. And you can make these bigger or smaller um, with the C and Z button. But we need a lot of sticks. Uh, most of this area doesn't have that many sticks, so we're going to make it smaller uh, to just gather up these sticks right here. In the immediate area. We're going to leave just one person on that, and then we're going to put on... This is a uh, flint, which we're going to need. Um, I believe there's some more over here somewhere I thought I saw. Hmm, maybe not. I know there's more lying around because I saw it, um, and here's a flint mine, but we can't, uh, we can't mine right now, so we can't do that. If you need to find something, the tab button, um, this is the color for flint, is this gray color. This is a monolith thingy. These are meats. These are trees and stuff that you can use uh, for one thing or another. They're either fruit trees. Here's another cow. Orange, dangerous. Yellow, not dangerous. Red, very dangerous. So here's some more flint. More flint. And these uh, light green plants are probably... These are lentils. Fir trees. Uh, it's this one. A chestnut tree. Uh, there's more flint. So you can set them up to uh, gather those things. Um, and this is also good for helping to find animals that you can't see because of uh, trees. Like there's a whole bunch of reindeer down here. So, uh, we're also going to have... Uh, we have no fuel. I know we're getting on the sticks here. Just hold on a second. 
Let's see, uh, and we're gonna get some obtained flint. So how much flint can I get in this circle? It's like a couple at least. Okay, well we can get two. So we're gonna speed this up now because otherwise it takes forever to get anything done. Oh, we can't let those go by. Come here. You can't just walk right by. We're gonna go for one of the smaller ones because they're usually easier to kill. Oh, we got him. Okay, let's see what we can build here. We can build a tanning rack. Let's do that. Let's put them right here. A lot of things um, will get rebuilt as time goes by. Um, there you go, fellas. Getting that tanning rack built up. We need to get on sticks. I'm going to put two people on sticks. Oh, we want more than ten. We want this to go to infinity. To pick up all the damn sticks. And where is our flint thing? You can go back to tab. You can find your marker. Here it is. And let's put that on infinity. Um, eventually we may up that to two people collecting flint. But right now it's more important that we get these rocks. Oops. Uh, we should really get on that. Why don't we have that? We need a dry skin. Uh, okay. There's a bear and two cubs. That's bad. Um, we don't want... To, oh my gosh, is that a cave lions too? Holy crap. Yep. Got some bison. Got an elk or oh megalosaurus. It's basically it's kind of uh, looks kind of like a moose, but I believe it becomes a domestic deer uh, by the time things go on there. Cause there's a woolly rhino. Oh, there's a reindeer right in camp. Um, you get points for doing things, and that unlocks new technology. So we're gonna get the oh, the reindeer ran away. Did we get him? We did get him. Now, I want to go after this woolly rhino, which is a horribly stupid idea. Um, most likely. But, if we can kill it, we'll get extra points for him because he's a woolly rhino. Let's get him, guys. Without, hopefully without getting any of our people killed. Oh. I got knocked down. Yeah, we got him, boy. Knowledge, too. Excellent. So that's going to give us a lot of food. Probably more than we need. But well, let's see. And they haven't even picked up this animal. They need to get on that, too. Uh, we don't really have a lot of people. And they are waiting for these skins to dry before they build anything up. So it's going to get cold pretty soon, and that's going to suck. Oh, uh, we got nine points, knowledge points, so. What is this? Funeral rituals. Uh, this is new. <laughs> this is a new thing in the game. This was not in the game the last time I played. Uh, this has happened to me before. They do put updates in. Um, yeah, there's never, I don't see anything else new. Just quick, like, looking through the thing here, but yeah, funeral rituals is a new thing. We don't want funeral rituals right now. We need bone tools. And the next one will be the sling. Oh, ca cave hyenas. Are we getting them? We don't want the damn ki cave hyenas getting us. Okay, we got them. Friggin' things are horrible. Um, eventually we will domesticate things. Okay, now we have, uh, that's nice. Um, we got seven people. They're not the happiest folks. We need to make them more happy. And how can we do that? Let's do a spiritual thing. Here's a skull pole for them to worship. 
We're going to put it up here on the hill so it's out of my way. But so they can still come up here and do their praying. So there that goes. And we've got these. What is that? A cave lion? Cave hyena. Okay. And a cave lion. I don't trust any of you guys. Definitely kill that thing. And definitely kill those things. Even if we don't need the meat, we don't need freaking hyenas and stuff running around because they're awful. Oh, one of our people got killed. Okay, so that sucked. Turab was killed by the uh, hyena. So there you go. Oh, we don't like hyenas because they're bad. They're bad, 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 bad. Okay, we have some uh, fruits over here. Blueberries, raspberries. Uh, here's a goat, a mouflon. Oh, not a goat, a sheep. Mouflon, here's some baby mouflons. Um, later on in the game, we'll domesticate those and we'll be able to catch them. The baby ones. Um, there are a lot of animals right here. So we don't want to over... Oh, we're low on hunting tools. Well, that's probably because we're not making any. Do we... Okay, we got... Our plans. Yikesies. Um, we want to make our... Um, yeah, they're just not very happy right now. When, you're, when your little community is happy, people will want to come and live here. Um, I don't know why they're so unhappy. But they're I, instead of the sling right now, I'm going to build a food drying rack. Because actually that's going to be more important to us straight away so that's under production and now you'll see the food dryer and for now I'm gonna put it right here oops wrong button um, most of these things will get moved eventually make these a priority so we can hang and dry meat and then um, we're gonna do this flag thingy here um, this is a uh, harvest and collect wild plants um, over here we have some strawberries, raspberries, and blueberries, and over here we have like a pear tree. I don't think we can get both of them with this though. Oh, yes we can. So now somebody will go and collect those things so we have a little extra food. There's also another pear tree right over here somewhere. Maybe it's right here. Is that it? No. Well, I saw it. <laughs> I saw one. Of Whoa, what is over here? Donkeys? Whatever they are, they just ran away. They sound like yeah, they're donkeys. Let's say, well, there's an injured, injured baby donkey over there. So, yep, that's that. And oh, look at all the meat we got hanging up. Uh, you want to have as much meat as you can if your meat is spoiling. Oh well, um, it's better to have too much and have it go to waste than to not have enough. Can we build a storage area? Because we don't have one. We can. We'll build a storage tent. Uh, we're going to put that right here for right now. And then we're going to build some rocks and stone uh, storage. Because we didn't do that yet. And again, most of this stuff will probably get moved. Use it for stick storage. Seems a bit excessive, I know. And then we're going to do rocks. Oops, wrong one. And do some rock storage. And we'll do that over here. We don't have any rock. Nobody's picking up rocks yet, but we need to do that. So. Here's some stone. Um, we can have somebody come over here and pick up these stones. Uh, Any stones? Here's some stones right here we can pick up. Right on the edge of the water. Um, 
we need a pick and we don't have that yet so we just need to find stones like lying around um, there's usually some at the water's edge we don't want to be going wandering clear down here because there's all kinds of craziness happening over here there's bears uh, we don't want to get hit by the bears. We got all. Oh, we have no meat. Look how fast that happened. We need to hunt something. Let's try. I would say go for the bison, but wait, wait. We're probably going to get dinged if we do that. So let's go after this guy. Hurry, hurry. Got him. The problem with, um, we'd go after a baby bison because they're easier to kill. The problem is there's all these adult bison. As soon as we attack that baby, they're going to flip the fuck out on us. And they're going to try to kill us. So, uh, go for baby things. Oh, he's, is that a big one by itself? Uh, this is a big guy by himself, so we're going to try to get him. Oh, we got him. Good job. We have nine points. Uh, we'll get the sling now. We'll get dogs next. Uh, domestication. Uh, they help you a little bit as far as uh, protecting you. Oh, the babies are separated. Babies are separated. That one. And can we get that one? Oh, it's gonna... never mind. Oh, well, shit. Oh, see what happens. Okay, it got away. Let's... yeah, come over here and just get the meat that we already have. Uh, so we got storage here. Got this going on. We really need more people. Oh, we're much happier. So hopefully now... This affects... this happiness affects two things. It affects the, your birth rate. Uh, I have no pregnant females right now. It also brings people to your house, to your colony, so that you have, uh, you know, more folks. Okay, we're going to do uh, the little flag thing again, this right here, which is placing... Oh, what is that? Another woolly rhino? Do we have enough people to kill a woolly rhino? We don't have a lot of... Well, let's see here. Oh, it looks like we're getting some new people right here. Looks like we got a couple newcomers. Uh, I don't think we have enough people to kill that woolly rhino right now, but we are going to take this. Um, I call it the flag thing. It's a work area, but it looks like a little banner flag. I'm going to go to fishing, and I'm going to add a fishing spot right here, and I'm just going to have one person uh, fishing uh, until infinity, because why not? So there we go. Um, we're going to go a little slower here because we have these people here coming. And they're either... Oh, these are traders. I thought they were... Dang it. New people. The other thing that happens if you have a nice community is the traders will come. And they will trade you what you got for what they got, like traders would do. Um... Sometimes you can trade and get good deals, sometimes not so much. So your trader is here. So click on the trader. That's, they got this little hand. I don't know why, but they do. And let's see. Um, they have some bread. And they're a low commission. Do we need the hides and stuff? I don't think we really do. Oh, we don't really need the bones. We have some meat. Some bread would be nice. So how much bread? Five. Mm, let's trade them a wooden harpoon. Because we're using bone harpoons now, so we don't need that anymore. So there you go. We got five breads. And there we go. We do have a, quite a bit of meat. Nineteen meat and four bread and stuff. So we got bread just sitting on the ground here. So that's nice. 
Um, just hoping to get more people to join the community here because right now we're really not getting anybody to join. Now it's winter time. Are we making warm clothes for these people? That would be nice to know. Oops, wrong thing. We are. We are, we are. Okay, so that's good. How's everybody doing here? No pregnant females, but we're at 100%. They're doing really nicely. So, hey, two new people have joined the settlement. So there you go. Um, here's one. And I think that's another one. So that's nice. Now we have eight. We really need to build another house or another tent then because we've got only one vacancy. I don't know why it's snowing. I guess we're having thunder snow. Uh, we're going to make that. And then we're going to see if these guys want to catch this uh, baby woolly over here. Oh no, there's the mama woolly. We should probably go after the mama woolly. Since she's going to attack us anyway. Oops. Come on guys, get her. Okay, now is there... Where's the baby at? He's clear over here, so we're going to let him be. Um, this guy's really tired, but we got, or not this, this guy's tired. We got a, a lot of meat. We got the meat, seven raw skins, and three bones, so that's good. I'm going to speed them up. Get all this done. Hides. Gosh, I might want to... They're drying hot four hides at a time here, I think. Well, we've got 12 raw skins, but we have 10. Yeah, there's no reason that this shouldn't hurry up, and it is. Um, eventually, like when it's warm, I'm going to tear these down and, and square them up better. Um, and eventually this will be a tight little, like, uh, U-shape, and this stuff will get moved. And then eventually there'll be walls and all kinds of fun stuff. Workload is high. Oh, that's new. That's totally new right there. That's crazy. So five, let's get dogs. And then this is a newer thing, dog training, so you can uh, help have them help you hunt. This is leather, we need to get that too. But uh, important things are pokey sticks. We've got the sling. Now we got dogs. Should we make? Are we making any slings? We're not. So, oops. Let's do that. So we have biface, which is basically a knife. It's a flint, handheld flint knife. Well, they're all handheld. But you know what I mean. It's a piece of flint. And we have uh, bone spears, bone harpoon, sling. And there was a bear. Where the far could that bear go? There he is. We can't have him. It's best to kill dangerous things before they eat you. That's a. That's the best way to handle that. So we're gonna go get the bear. And there we go. The bear's dead. Now the bear can't sneak up on us and take us out. 75%, okay. 60, 88. Falling a little bit, but we're still doing really good. One pregnant female, so that's good. We only have one adult female, so that's bad. I think we have the capacity for 12 people. Yes. So we're doing okay. Is that another freaking bear? A freaking bear crossing here. I don't think so, Mr. Bear. You cannot stay here. And are we going to get him? There he goes. Okay, so there we go. Another bear. Ah, no, not you too. Freaking cave lions. Cave lions are terrible. They're not as bad as cave hyenas, which seem to pop up all over the place. Yeah, oh, sorry. Come here. You guys gotta kill this one too. And the baby ones. And that one. And that one. 
And is that all of them? No, there's another one. Okay, so we just got, well, some of that meat may go to waste. That's an awful lot of, it's an awful lot of killing. Where's that bear at? Did he run up the hill? The hell, where's he at? I hear him. Ah, where are you, Mr. Bear? Okay, he went the other way. That's good for us. Alright, let's get back to zooming along. What's that? Freaking cave lines, are you kidding me right now? There's another one. We're not going to get anything done because we're going to be running around killing cave lions. Where'd it go? Right here. I see you, cave lion. Can't live here. You're not welcome. Well, don't run off by yourself. Oh, here's a little baby one. Okay, we do not let cave lions live by us. We will kill them all. So that should give us enough. I mean, it's probably going to go to waste, but... Who knows? Um, we can kill donkeys and horses and eat them. The problem with doing that is if we put a spear in a donkey or a horse or a boar, they're going to run like holy hell, and they're all very fast. Uh, the other animals aren't as fast, but the boar... The donkeys and the horses, uh, these spears just aren't enough. So here's the trader again. Uh, leather, we don't have any leather. This is a high commission guy, so, or a girl, they're going to want a lot of money or a lot of trade. So we're going to say no, we don't really need the leather right now. Sorry. It's really hot outside. A lot of work to be done. They're kind of overtaxed, but that's uh, because we killed all those freaking cave lions and stuff. Oh, Gorgal has died of an infection. If you get hurt by an animal, um, you can get an infection and die. So that's yet another reason to uh, keep the... Ooh. Nasty animals away. Um, oh, decisions, decisions. Composite tools or dog training. Or leather. Let's go with weapons for right now. There are bandits or, um, that's not really bandits, raiders they're called in this, uh, game that uh, will come and um, um, attack you. They don't do it straight away. And um, in this version, in this, uh, in this uh, mode that we picked, the Continental Dawn or whatever. It's a, a more calm version. Like I said, I want it to be a little bit of a challenge, but I don't want to, you know, end up hating the game because it's so difficult. Um, in this challenge, in this level, um, the Raiders, when they come, have the same weapons as you do. They are at the same advancement level as you. So if you have flint weapons, they have flint weapons. At the harder levels, they can be at any level. So you could be here with flint and they've got swords and longbows and they come and just destroy the crap out of you. So, um, yeah. This is... Um, I'm going to stop the episode here in just about 30 seconds or so. Um, I really wish more people would come. I don't know why they're so cranky. Um, is there anything else we can build here? 
Uh, we can now build these flint tools, so we'll get on that. Uh, we don't need this uh, bone tool anymore. We still need the uh, bone harpoon. But we have a flint pick, a flint axe, and a flint spear now, so we don't need uh, the bone spear. But this also means that uh, we can do things like chop it down the trees. And so, around our little camp here, we are going to chop it down trees. Um, one for the logs, and two because when we come to building walls and whatnot, well, this stuff is going to need to go. So, and there's flint. We're still going to need you to pick up the flint, please. I think they picked it all up over here. Let's so we'll have to go find. Here's some more over here. There's an what is that? Cave hyena? Freaking hyenas and brrr. Oh no, I don't want that, please. What are you doing? Why is it stuck? There we go. Flint. We've got two here at least. Not seeing any more. Oh boy, there's a whole bunch. Let's see if we can get how much of this flint we can get in one thing here. Looks like four. So we'll have them come pick up flint. Um, we've got picks so we can work on some of these piles of stone. Uh, we don't seem to have any food. It says we have food. Our drying rack doesn't have any food on it though. And I think we're going to uh, stop this episode here. Actually, let's get this guy. Get him. Get him. Get him. Did we get him? We did. What else do we got here? Come here, guys. Uh, what is that? Let's get this guy. Goat. Let's get the goat. Never mind, the goat's running away. Let's get the, uh, what is that? Okay, let's get that little hyena. We don't want him. He's already injured anyway. Um, I don't think we've got one of these yet. So let's go try to get one. We've got uh, boars and bacon bits over here. Oh my gosh, look at them run. Huh, what is this guy? Trader. Oh, I missed a trader. Okay, don't go clear over there. There's like bears and shit over there. Back over here. Do we have new people joining? <gasps> Three new people joined. Okay, well we're going to pause and end the episode here. And when we come back, um, we'll keep uh, building our building building our little place here. Oh, let's get something with this before we leave. Let's get the leather, and then we'll get the doggy stuff later. Okay, so we're going to end the episode here. Um, I hope you enjoy Dawn of Man. Um, likes, comments, suggestions, subscriptions, uh, all that fun stuff. Thanks for watching. I'm Tam O'Shanter. I'll catch you in the next one. Cheers.